everyone and welcome to my game classes and today in this video we are going to discuss that how you can download your CSIR net June 2022 certificate so if you have qualified the CSIR net JRF exam of CSIR net June 2022 so now you can download your e certificate of qualifying this exam so what you have to do just uh, go to the google play uh, like google search or chrome or any browser and search CSIR CSIR HRDG CSIR HRDG then you will find this website and uh, in this website what you are going to find is that in the news and announcement section you will see the latest news that a notification has come on 8th December qualifying certificate for net June 2022 joint CSIR net exam when you will click on it you will open your notif notice in which the all the important information has been mentioned that you have to follow for the e-certificate qualification for the e-certificate download of your CSIR net June 2022 exam so what we have to do so actually this notice is only for the qualified students whose roll number are listed in part one of the result so when you have seen your result you may have noticed that the result has came in the three parts you can check the result again the pdf will be available in website of csir hrdg so the result is actually uh, divided in, into the three parts the first part is that that is given the roll number of students who have qualified the net as well as the jrf or those who can those who have qualified the JRF and they are also eligible for the net exam so this uh, scholarship or this part of the result is shared with the CSIR office okay and similarly when you will scroll down the result section and you will find the uh, this is also JRF only students are also there uh, who's uh, who's who are in actually in BSc category okay so you may have in if you are in BSc last year uh, you can also apply for the JRF. So these are the students, 103 students who are in the BSc third year. Okay, so they are only JRF only results. So, so they can also download their e-certificate. Okay, and the second part of the result is shared with the UGC. So in the in that section, UGC has shared the result, and this result is is also for the like uh, this result is for the JRF students and they are also qualified for the net so and uh, the part third if you will scroll, scroll down the if you will scroll down the result PDF and here you will go down and you will see the third part of the result okay so third part of the result will be like this so third part of the result is for the LS candidates okay those who have qualified only LS. So no, uh, this video is not for the students whose roll number in this third part or whose roll number is in the second part. If your roll number is given in the first part of the result PDF, then you can only apply for the e-certificate. So this is the video, this is the not notice for all the part one students, okay? So what you have to do to download your e-certificate? First, you have to apply for it. Okay. So what you have apply? So you are requested to send self-attached photocopies of the following documents. So you have to just print out the following documents and sign each document and send them send them to the given address that I am going to tell you. Okay. So let's discuss about the all the uh, points that are. Uh, the, all the documents that are needed to be sent okay so first thing is that copy of the mark sheet scorecard with the rank and the result which is available on the website so first thing is that uh, you may have uh, downloaded your scorecard and if you haven't then download the scorecard from csirnet.nta.nic.in and in that scorecard you will have your rank you will have uh, your result so you have to uh, print that copy and self attach it apart from this you have to send your high school certificate issued by respected board as a proof of date of birth then you have to apply for the degree uh, like you have to uh, self attached your degree 
or the provisional certificate so if you have uh, got your degree from the college then it is very good if you haven't then you can apply on your college for the provisional degree it will they will give you within one two day and you can self attach it and send it okay uh, so that is the third part and the if you like if you are there is semester uh, scenario in your college then you have to send a final mark sheet with requested uh, with the required percentage of marks okay so you should clear the eligibility as well and if you, the if your college result is in cgpa sgpa or ogpa then you have to send the conversion formula of their university so you will get the conversion formula universe uh, of your university from your university website or you can ask it for from your professors they will uh, give you and you have to just download it and print it and self attach it and if your degree is like uh, you have you are doing a msc phd uh, dual degree then uh, you, you will get to know that you have a bifurcation of marks in each case of dual degree then you have to just give it also okay and apart from this you have to send your caste certificate like if you are in general category you don't need to send the caste certificate but if you are in obc category then you have to send the obc category caste certificate that is as per given in the ncbc website okay and apart from this if you are like in from the pwd if you are a pwd candidate then you should also submit your pwd candidate to get the like qualification from that category and if you have applied from the ews ews category then you will also have to apply your appropriate income and asset certificate and the year of the uh, of the like uh, certificate should be 2021 22 you can send uh, the uh, ews certificate of 2021 2022 to or 2022 and 2023 so like if you have the certificate of this year it is okay if you have like the certificate of this year it is also okay okay and apart from this uh, let's discuss about like uh, those students who have applied from the result awaited category so if you have uh, applied from the result awaited ca uh, category then you should submit these documents after the completion of your degree okay so after the completion of uh, your msc just get the uh, if you, uh, you get the uh, degree from like if you have one year or you have six months remaining for your degree to complete so just wait for it like complete your degree and get the degree from the college and uh, arrange all the uh, documents like this and you have to send this or these all documents and in a box or in an envelope and the address you are going to send should be written like this okay so it is also one important thing that they have clearly mentioned that you have to uh, the address you are going to send is this certificate section examination unit hrdg csir csir complex library avenue pusa new delhi double one double zero one two okay or through mail at e certificate or through mail at so you can also mail these documents okay so you can also mail these documents through a email like scan them and like self attached all the documents and scan all the documents so what i will suggest you should also apply with email and you should also apply with the post office so in case uh, you get two certificates that will not going to happen just a just a joke okay so uh, the important thing is that uh, what you have to write on the front page of your envelope that is very important you have to write document for june 2022 this and your roll number you have to write this thing in the top of the like as a heading in your envelope okay and in the address section you have to uh, like write it down okay so now let's discuss about what are the procedure like if your result is given part second and part third then what you have to do so you may contact the ugc nta for the e certificate because this uh, result and this notice is from the csir office so they are going to share the result of part one student part two 
एंड पार्ट थ्री रिजल्ट इज शेयर विद द यूजीसी सेक्शन तो यू हैव टू लाइक कॉन्टेक्ट देम गो टू द यूजीसी वेबसाइट मेल देम दे विल टेल यू अबाउट इट एंड सर्टिफिकेट यू विल गेट will be based on the all the information that you have uh, like put in your online application for the exam so candidates are not requested to send request for any sort of correction in the e certificate so there will be no correction and you don't have uh, like you are not requested to send any sort of like mail or any sort of anything there will be no correction on your e certificate but still you have any correction then you can visit the csir of it office in the delhi so that was all about the uh, notice that was issued yesterday so i have shared all the information with you see you soon again on this youtube channel guys if you have liked the video do like this and subscribe the youtube channel of madcam classes thank you so much guys for watching this video